Hello and welcome to part 2 of updates with my nephew's videos of more videos that he has picked up. We're going to go into here and we're going to go into here. Um, some of them are mine, some of them are his. They're anime like um, cartoons so they would like it like the Little Mermaid. Girls love princesses and this one's um, if you've never seen it, The Little Mermaid is basically it's a musical and the little girl, Ariel, wants to meet her Prince Trimming, but to do that, she has to lose her voice and get legs. And then you got Ursula being a rude little crapper. This one is Cinderella. If your little girl loves princesses again, Cinderella would be perfect. It's about Cinderella finding her Prince Trimming, but she has two ugly stepsisters that are just annoying as heck and they make her do everything in the house and a stepmother that makes her do everything in the house and her fairy godmother makes her dreams come true. This one is Peter Pan. There is tons of different Peter Pan versions. This is the one with Jeremy S who is Peter Pan and is awesome as Peter Pan and a cutie patootie and it's not... No, this isn't the one with Jeremy S. The one with Jeremy S is in there. Anyways, this one's the anime one, or the cartoon one. Where Peter loses his shadow, he goes to get it, and he finds himself in this place with Wendy, falls in love with Wendy, takes her and her brothers to Never Never Land, and then they have to fight the Hook, who hates crocodiles. Woofy yo Woofy yo and that's with Rod Robin Williams. So, yeah. This is Pete's Dragon. There's there's a remake of Pete's Dragon. The remake sucks. This is a musical, and the original was better. Where this drag this got little boy sees a invisible dragon, and they sing songs, and it's just cool. Mary Poppins. There is one coming out called Mary Poppins Returns. This one is a musical where they sing. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious A spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down And they have this friend named Bert Who makes sidewalk chalk art And makes it so magical that they can hop into his art And it's cool, it's not And we're going to do it back Ooh, so We're going to do it backwards Just cause Frosty the Snowman is a good Christmas movie for little kids. It's animated. There's Frosty the Snowman and Frosty Returns. And it's where you sing the famous Frosty the Snowman with a, da -da 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 -da, with a carrot nose and a button. Yeah, I don't know the words. Sorry. And here's a good Halloween one called Scared Shuckless where he tells three different stories. It's not really scary. It's really funny for little kids, or maybe like 10 and up, and if they're not really scared of people dying and blood and guts and stuff, this would be good. It's called Tremors, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. We got Re Recess, is a TV show, and it's a really good TV show. It used to be on TV, and it's called, this one's called School's Out. They made it into a movie, and the Christmas one, of course, and it's really good, and you should watch them. They're just kids at school that try and make it positive and get into mischief at recess. Pee Wee's Adventures is a really good one. I know you guys are probably going, how can we like Pee Wee's Adventures and Pee Wee's Big Top when Pee Wee does all these crazy things when he was an adult, he was a pedo as an adult, and blah, 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 you know, as, and it's like, don't look at who he was outside of being Pee Wee, his character, look at him as the character, I have the doll, and it talks, and it's cool, him getting his bike back, the big top is the farm one where the pit talks, and it's really cool, and then there's Hook, and then there's the Santa Claus with Tim Allen, that is really good, there's like three different Santa Claus movies with Tim Allen that you should check out. 
Wizard of Oz is pretty good. It's a musical, and they're off to see the wizard, the wonderful Wizard of Oz. Because, 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 well, the wonderful Wizard of Oz. Somewhere over the rainbow. It's about Dorothy trying to get home, basically. And he helps the Scarecrow, the Tin Man, and the Lion get a heart, a brain, and courage. The Goonies. This is for 10 and up kids that are into treasures and just having fun that I let my nephew watch. Um, the Little Rascals is good for any age kid. I say about 8 and up because they get into mischief. No girls allowed. And you got Alfalfa. And just it's a, it's a TV show that was made into a movie from back in the day. Beetlejuice. 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 Shoot, I said his name three times. I'm shocked he's not here right now. Scaring that daylight out of us. Beetlejuice is good for 10 and up. It's not scary. It's not gory. It's just... Dayo. He's a Dayo. Daylight come as a day away. Come Mr. Jellyman, Jellyman Banana. And basically two people become ghosts from a car crash. And they're trying to live in this house. And stole Christmas. Good for any age kid. There's three different versions. There's the Grinch Stole Christmas TV cartoon movie. And there's the one with the movie version with Jim Carrey. And then there's the, the, the Grinch that just came out. Horton Knows a Who. It's basically a Dr. Seuss movie, and little kids would just adore it. Justin McCartney uh, does the voice of one of the characters, so it's awesome. Charlotte's Web. There's a new one, a remake, and then there's this old-fashioned one from way back when. It's basically where this pig is a radiant pig and does radiant, does really cool things, and there's talking animals. If your kids love talking animals, this would be great the kids. Robin Hood. Robin basically steals from the rich and gives to the poor. It's basically talking animals again. It's cartoony and it's great. Okay, there's two of them. There's Charlie in the Chocolate Factory with Johnny Depp. And then there's an older one called Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory. Yes, there's two different names but same storyline. This one is amazing and you should watch it there's lots of singing you see candy and all this fun stuff so you should check it out it's all it used to be a tv show back in the day this is one of the tv show dvds and then here's the movies the christmas carol one and then this, this is the first one we didn't get the others but this one's not animated it's or cartoony these characters are cartoony, but then everybody else is just regular. Ending story 1, 2, and 3. Yes, there's 3. This is for any age that likes animation, that likes a boy that wants to read about this fantasy island, and he can help with the ore. And you got Anakin, and you got Jonathan Brandis, and Jane Richardson if I said his name right who was in Free Really movies which all the three Free Really movies are good movies for kids as well um the first one is basically Saving Neverland or yeah not I want to say Never Neverland but that's not right Fantasia is saving Fantasia and he and finds out at the end of the book that the guy that's reading the book is the one that needs to give it a name once he gives the imprints a name, she can basically be saved. And so can the people. The second one, kind of the same thing. Except for this time around, Jonathan Brandis plays the boy that reads the book and gets stuck in the movie and gets to use an oar. And they try to stop him by using, by taking away all of his memories. Third one. Basically, he gets trapped in the book, and then the Nasties with Jack Black 
gets out of the book or gets them out of the book because whoever's reading the book gets to tell the story and it makes the word nasty and all this crazy stuff. If you want, okay, I'm just going to read the names and if you want to know what the movies are about, comment down below and I'll do more in depth. That's Sandlot 1 and 2, Super Baby Geniuses 2 and Baby Geniuses 1, Talking Babies, basically. They have their own baby language. And this is the Sandlot, um, Peter Pan with the Jeremy one, The Lion King, Annoying Orange, you may know him off of YouTube's, Casper, The Friendly Ghost, There's Hook, Jaws, like I said, that's up to you parents, one, two, three, and four, third one is 3D, third one's the best, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, there's TV shows of it. There's one, two, three, and four. These two are the best, of course. Um, I would say eight and up. These are old cartoons from back in the day. Probably when your parents were young. With Looney Tunes and Popeye the Sailor Man. And there's tons of those. These are just musics. We already talked about... King Kong and Skull Island, there's Mickey Mouse's Clubhouse, the Halloween treat episode that my nephew loves from Disney, that's for any age of course. Spy Kids 1, 2, and 3, um, and 4. How did, oh this is Dragon Hunt, uh, yeah, Dragon Hunter. This is Trans uh, Transformers. This is the cartoon one from TV, from Cartoon Network, I believe. And then this is parents. It's up to the parents on these movies. If you want your kids to watch them, if they're not scared of stuff like this, then they can watch Three Headed Shark Attack, Dino Shark, Dino Cock versus Super Gator, um, Shark of Purse versus Piranha, and then. Veronicon and so yeah we've got Anastasia surfs up Astro Boy now Men in Black 1, 2, and 3 that's if you're into if your kid's into aliens it's an alien type movie with Will Smith there's Flush Away again there's Empty's Island Home on the Range Dr. Seuss, The Lorax, uh, Jimmy Neutron, Boy Genius, and Ponya, Ponya, if I said that right, Nemo, uh, Dino Train is a TV show, Cat in the Hat TV show, G.I. Joe TV show, it has Batman in it, so that's why he wanted it, Fanboy and Chum Chum, with Britos, Britos, Dino Dan, Arthur and the Invisibles, Stefan's Christmas, Lego Frozen, Minnie Winnie the Pooh, and a horse movie called, I can't remember the name of it, Frozen Forever, Arthur's Christmas, Lego Batman, um, Again, these are up to the parents for Anaconda. Then there's Olaf Frozen. Then there's Zootopia and Hotel Transylvania 2. Frozen, it's a musical. Let it go, let it go for the first time in forever. Do you want to build a snowman? Which is good for ages eight and up with like kids with superpowers with toy warriors and ghost shark with no other than cool duder from youtube anaconda again with ice cube 